Hello, my name is Henry. My name's Nina. We're going to present you a series of introduction videos for the Ocean Store Dorado V6 Device Manager. Device Manager is the management software for our storage systems. In this video, we're going to show you its function tabs and their uses. Also, it's important to mention that Device Manager has been completely redesigned for Ocean Store Dorado V6 and it differs from the Dorado V3 version in a number of ways. We will talk about those differences in our next video. Well, let's get started. Logging into Device Manager for the first time will present an initialization page for you to set basic information and provision resources. If you want to do this later, simply click Cancel to enter the home page. The left section displays the product model, release number, serial number, and health status of the device. The middle has an overview of system alarms. The right section provides shortcuts for common functions and quick navigation to the function panes. In the lower part, you can see how much capacity has been used and available, an analysis of your capacity trends, as well as an overview of your network. Scroll down to see the graphs of major performance metrics, including response time, IOPS, and bandwidth. Even more metrics are available in the dashboard, but we'll get to that later. Okay, now we have a general view on Device Manager. Next, let's dig a little bit deeper to find out more details. Let's first go to the Services tab for provisioning storage resources. Storage provisioning is streamlined and easy on Device Manager. Simply create lungs and hosts and map them to each other. On the lungs page, you can have a view on all of the lungs in the system. To add a new lung, click Create and specify several simple parameters. Then select the host for mapping to the lung to complete storage provisioning. Multiple lungs for the same application can be added to a lung group for collective management. On the hosts page, you can create hosts or host groups and add initiators. The storage system also discovers fiber channel, iSCSI, and NVMe over Rocky initiators of connected hosts. Data is a crucial asset for enterprise business, so we provide a number of data protection features for you to safeguard your data. In the data protection tab, we provide snapshots, clones, Remote Replication, Hypermetro, and DR Star. Snapshots and clones protect data on your local array. A replication and hypermetro work between two arrays to protect data remotely. DR Star provides the highest level of protection by replicating data among three arrays in different localities. These features can be used independently or combined to provide high reliability for your storage data. Let's jump to the Inside tab. Check the alarms and events here to determine the health status of your system. We provide suggestions for you to clear the alarms. On the performance page, there is a dashboard for the performance metrics of the storage components. Select an object and check its response time bandwidth, and IOPS on the right. You can highlight any point in time in the graph to find more details. Moreover, you can change between the average and maximum values, and the view of history ranging from the last 30 minutes to up a year. On the analysis page, you can choose from a comprehensive array of parameters for precise object monitoring. The forecast is a prediction on the capacity usage of your storage system and a reference for planning capacity expansion. Next, we'll go to the System tab where you can manage the hardware and storage pools. 
click Hardware and you will be able to see an inventory of system hardware components and basic component information. The Devices page provides diagrams for storage enclosures. You can switch between the front and rear views and highlight any component to see what's going on with it. The external storage page is for setting up the connections with the current storage system when you want to take over data on another storage system. We support both fiber channel and iSCSI connections. Storage pools are containers of storage resources and you must create them before service provisioning. Creating a storage pool is a quick two-step process. Simply select a control enclosure and the disks and it's done. Let's move on to the settings tab. We provide default settings for some system configurations, but you can also customize the default options. On this tab, you will be able to manage the device time, DNS, service settings, licenses, and certificates. Want a new user account? Create on the user and security page. There are also customizable options for alarm notification, whether it's from email, short messages, or else. It's worth mentioning that eService provides remote technical support for your system. Whenever your system has a failure, eService will notify us for troubleshooting. That concludes our overview of the main menu of Device Manager. We will dig into the details of specific functions in our later videos. Our next video will be the differences between Device Manager used by Dorado V6 and Dorado V3. Want to learn more? Subscribe and stay connected. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.